All righty, ladies and gentlemen, it is time for a little raw preview. Um, apparently, Shane McMahon is going to be there tonight. Shane! <laughs> Shane! Um, you know, I'm kind of, I was marking out pretty hard, but now I'm more like, okay, well... Is Shane going to do something there? Because last week, you know, Taker didn't really do shit. So hopefully Shane's going to do something good. Some people were saying that Taker was going to be there to have like a face-off with Shane. Not sure if that's really happening there, but I wouldn't be surprised if, you know, Shane's talking in the ring. Then it cuts backstage, you see a taxi stop at the arena. Then you see Taker coming out, running. <clears throat> He's running backstage really quick. Then he starts running up the ramp and pointing at the mania sign. <clears throat> He's gonna dive in the ring, he'll look at Shane real quick. Rest in peace. Then he's going to run back. <laughs> run backstage and dive right in the taxi. And he's going to fuck off right back to the airport. He's going to be in the building for 45 seconds in total. But uh, I don't know. Hopefully Shane is going to do something good, you know. Last week's show was sucking dick big time there. Hopefully we'll get something good. Um, AJ Styles and Chris Jericho are going to fight for the tag team titles. You know, I really don't know why this is happening. I'm guessing they're going to win the tag belts. Then they're going to split up and have a match at Mania or something like this there. Or they're going to come close to winning. They're going to argue and have a match because... I think this is a bit stupid, you know, AJ Styles should be treated as a big attraction right now, you know what I'm saying, he had lots of hype coming in, they make him lose his first match like two weeks after he gets there on a cheap ass show like Smackdown, you know, now he's in the tag team, what the fuck is that, you know. <laughs> I don't think that makes sense at all. Um, he should be a single star having a big match at Mania, stuff like that there, but I really don't understand this fucking tag team bullshit there. Um, the Y2AJ, the name is pretty lame and stuff. Just two old guys trying to look young there like <laughs> wrestling cats. <laughs> Just hopefully they can stop this tag team garbage, you know. Um, we are not going to have Roman Reigns there tonight. That's probably going to be better for us entertainment-wise. We don't have to go through, you know, more cringe-worthy promos and shit like this. Um, not bad for Reigns. He's fighting in the main event at Mania. And he's not even there to promote the match. It's Dean Ambrose doing all the work there. Um, we're going to have this Triple H and Dean Ambrose. You know, last week it wasn't that good. We had Triple H beating the shit out of Roman Reigns. Opening him up, you know, with the blood and everything. The big move on the steps. And last week with Ambrose, it looked like a cheaper version of the stuff that they did with Reigns. You know what I'm saying? There wasn't anything there. It wasn't as good. So hopefully they're going to do something cool tonight. Maybe Ambrose is going to beat him up or something. I don't know. Um, we got Charlotte and Sasha Banks and Becky and their... Stupid triple threat feud there. Charlotte is going to have her busted nose because of her injury. She's, you know, might have bandages on her face and stuff. 
And who knows, she might look better. You know, <laughs> know what I'm saying? She might look hotter there if we can't see her face or whatever. And then Brock Lesnar and Bray Wyatt. These guys are supposed to have a match at Fastlane. Did they even promote this match or anything? You know, the past couple weeks, it's Dean Ambrose and Lesnar. And they're just throwing this Wyatt match into the mix. They're not promoting it or anything, you know. So hopefully Brock will be there to promote this match or else it's, it's going to look a bit silly. I don't know there. So yeah, hopefully it's better than last week's show because last week's show fucking sucked. Um, so yeah, uh, before I end this vid, I made a video about how I miss Cena. I talked about how Cena was better than Ambrose or something. And uh, this upset my homegirl Ambrosia Cat. She made a little joke vid about this there. I'm going to plug Ambrosia Cat's channel. She does wrestling vids. She rants on other stuff. You might get a little dose of drama here and there on the page. And I also want to plug the WCW Cofed, dog. Um, Dark Horse is the CEO of the Fed. He's going to be recording the gameplay and stuff. And I'm going to be the COO. Like Triple H, I'm going to do creative shit. I'm going to do multiple characters and stuff like this there. Big COO, dog, living large! Um, so those two pages are in the description. Another Cofhead WJ, yes. This one's going to be good. Dark Horse can create better looking matches with good editing and shit like this. And w, WJ is going to use this creative magic, dog. Going to be fucking awesome. Might be better than tonight's Raw. I don't know there, but better than TNA anyway. That's for damn sure. Hi. Raw preview, dog. Is Raw going to suck cock or not? Stay tuned. Watch Raw or, or don't because might be boring. <laughs> Till next time. Peace.